Okay, we have retained another integral. This one's from JE main 2003. We have the integral from zero to one of f of x times g of x dx, and we're given all these conditions over here to the right. And so where I think I wanna start is with this condition right here. Just looking at this, we're looking for a function that when we take the derivative, it gives back the same thing. So you could really just look at this and do it really quick and think this is probably gonna be e to the x. But we also can look at this as a really simple differential equation and we can solve for it. So I think even though we know this answer, I think let's just do it out anyway. So for f prime of x, I'm gonna write it like this, dy dx, and for f of x, I'm gonna write this as just y. And then so what we have here is really like the simplest differential equation in the world. It's separable. And then what we can do is bring the dx over here, bring the y back over here in the denominator, we write this as dy over y equals just one times dx. Integrate it on both sides really fast. On the left side, this is gonna be natural log absolute value of y. I'm gonna leave off the plus c because we're gonna have a plus c on this side. So what we can do is consolidate plus c. So this here is gonna be x plus c over here. Use log properties on it. We have absolute value of y is gonna be e to the x plus c. But then with exponent properties, we could break this up like e to the x times e to the c. But this right here is just a constant, so I can write this as c e x. But I can actually drop the absolute value here because we have a, plus, we have a c over here that's going to determine the sign anyway, so we'll drop that. And again, what we said earlier is that y is going to be f of x. So what we've come up with here is we're saying f of x is going to be equal to c e x. We have this initial condition we're given that f at zero is gonna be equal to one. So if we plug in zero here, plug in zero here, we have c times e to the zero, which is just one. This equals one. So our c value for this is gonna just need to be one. So then what we have for our f of x value, f of x is gonna be just e to the x, which we knew originally, but, and we already knew that, but it was a good excuse to do a quick differential equation. Okay, so now that we have our f of x value, we just need to get our g of x for this equation right here in order to do our integral. And we can use this equation right here where we know f of x. So rearranging this, we can say that g of x is going to be equal to x squared minus f of x. And so we know our f of x value, so we can write our g of x value as just equal to x squared minus e to the x. So now that we have f of x and g of x, we're gonna take each of these and plug it back in and integrate. So we're going from zero to one, f of x is e to the x, and then g of x is gonna be x squared minus e to the x dx. I'll just distribute in the e to the x. So we're gonna have, let's do it as two integrals. So the first one's gonna be x squared e to the x dx. Our second one, e to the x times e to the x, this is just e to the two x from zero to one. Then for this first integral, this one's gonna be really easy, so I'm not too worried about that. For the first one, we can just do integration by parts on this. I'm gonna use the DI method or tabular integration over here to the right. I'm gonna integrate, sorry, I'm gonna differentiate x squared, integrate e to the x. So let's differentiate this all the way down to zero. Derivative of this is gonna be two x. Derivative of this is gonna be two. Eventually, the derivative of this is gonna be zero. Then integrating over here, all these integrals, are just gonna be e to the x, e to the x, e to the x. So a part of our solution on the diagonal, what I can do with all these is let's factor out e to the x and then just capture everything in this column, x squared minus two x plus two, evaluated from zero to one. Integrating here, we're gonna have minus e two x, but we're gonna have a two come out in the denominator like this. And also evaluating zero to one, I could probably put it all together, but that's fine. So first, let's plug in one everywhere. We're going to have here e to the one is just e um, one minus two plus two. Then plugging zero in here, this is going to become minus e to the zero is one. All this other stuff gets zeroed out and we just have a two right here. And then next, we'll do this part. You plug in a one, we're going to have minus e squared over two. And then for the next part, minus times minus is plus. Plug in a one and we have one half here. But then all this right here, this is just one, so that goes away. So then we're gonna have this e. Over here we have minus a half e squared. And then over here, one half minus two, that's gonna be minus three over two, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Good one from JE Main 2003. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.